right, we are coming to you live from the Startup India event, the Carnival of Entrepreneurship, the mega do that the government has lined up celebrating entrepreneurship in the country today. Now, the queues behind me, as you can see, starting to ease up, but it's not been easy. Let me just show you what the fuss has been about for those, you know, what the fuss has been about in terms of trying to get in. Now, this is what the pass looks like, and there's been almost a mega fight for these passes. There have been around a couple of thousands of these passes that the government had printed, but we are told that two lakh requests uh, for these passes have come in. They're of course not just from uh, entrepreneurs, they're not from those wannabe entrepreneurs, they're not from investors, but people who just want to see what this space is looking like. Remember, 70% of startup founders in India are under 30 years of age. They're generating more and more employment every day. This is a space that's buzzing, that's taking India's youth buzzing on the global stage. And that is why there is such a push right from the very top. We are being told that our time is now and we cannot afford to miss the bus on entrepreneurship anymore, which is why we're seeing these mega events, which we are told are going to start any moment now. We, are, uh, we seem to be running a little behind schedule, 20 minutes or so, but uh, we hope that it is actually going to get underway. It is, like I said, a very cold morning in Delhi. People have been standing there braving uh, queues. The Prime Minister is going to be here, which is why security has been very tight. Every last document being closely examined, but nobody's complaining as long as they do get seats inside. Remember, our top entrepreneurs are going to be speaking, going to be sharing their experiences. And through the day on NTV Prime, this is going to be our special coverage as we make startups a priority not just for India but also the entire NDTV network. Now watching the space very closely of course have been like I said loads of uh, investors, loads of those who are watching the space closely. We spoke to Amit Gupta, Chief Operating Officer of Jupiter Capital and began by asking him his expectations from this big do. Well, my expectations from this program is, uh, you know, this is a very exciting program, first of all. My expectations are that the government should indeed now be working very hard and very expeditiously in spirit and letter to resolve some of the issues which our startups have always been facing. So with 4200 plus startups in our country, we still rank 155th on ease of doing business. If I were to ask you one thing that you want from Prime Minister Modi, what do people like yourself have in mind from the Prime Minister? Well, as an investor, we, uh, we certainly, uh, you know, look uh, that this program and uh, under the uh, guidance of uh, Shri Modi, it should, uh, it should get action going. So we know for a fact that the, the ministries and the, uh, you know, the RBI are working on removing certain hurdles for the startups so that they prevent the flight of startups to other foreign countries. As investors, we would want that those hurdles are actually removed. As investors, our preference is, uh, you know, Jupiter Capital will be extremely excited to know that the uh, norms around uh, taxation for ventures, venture capital uh, investing into startups are, are easened. Right, and uh, we'll speak to Amit a little later in the day. Let's also get in uh, uh, Ishan Gupta here, uh, the founder of uh, Edcart with us. This is a space of uh, online, on distance learning. Online learning is, is what Ishan's looking at. Ishan, thanks for taking our time to speak to us this morning. Now, wh what do you believe is going to be the one thing that the Prime Minister is going to say that's going to make you happy? What, what do you want him to say? I would uh, love it if he t talks about making the starting of businesses easier, mm -hmm. You know, some changes for in tax regime for the early stage companies, I think that would make me really mm. excited. Mm. Uh, as far as education sector is concerned, I mean, that's a highly regulated sector. So, you know, Prime Minister's push on skilling India, mm. if that can also kind of translate into some benefits for startups in the education sector, I think that would be really exciting right. for me. And now, this is a space where now everyone's looking at people like yourself. You are the kind of guys who are now being celebrated. You are being feted. How does that make you feel? No, it's exciting. I was just thinking today, my first startup, 2002, you know, I had to fight in my college to get uh, permission to actually start that company right. alongside studying. And today, you know, uh, the Prime Minister is calling on the startups to come together and make some announcements. I think we have come a long way. Right. A lot needs to be done, but I think it's a good start. Right. That's an important point to remember. The glass still full. We're just trying to top it up, as it were. Well, the events there beginning uh, behind me at Vigyan Bhavan. Let's go straight across and listen in to what's happening. In the year 2000. Which means that...